Welcome to Midlife Love Out Loud, your one-stop love shop. If you want to be in a fulfilling relationship, but you're just not finding the right man, and you're questioning whether love is in the cards for you, you've come to the right place. Midlife Love Out Loud is where single women gather to welcome in next level love. With your host, super duper expert love mentor and inner critic tamer, Junie Moon. I'm so excited to have another opportunity to talk with you about something I hear very often from women that are having great lives. Are you one of these women that love how your days go, love your home, love your freedom to do what you want to do? You've been single for a while. And the idea of inviting somebody else in, there's some concern. I hear this often. At least this is one of the, the the huge things that gets in the way of potentially opening up to new love is concerns about what might happen if you actually have somebody come into your life. So as you know, I'm the love coach. I'm Junie Moon. And I help you and many other women figure out what might be blocking you or keeping you from really calling in next level love. And one of them is the fear of you might actually lose something like your freedom. Maybe it's not freedom for you. And if it's not freedom for you, ask yourself, what might you risk losing if you bring in somebody into your life? All right. I'm going to talk to the freedom thing. So if you love to have your space and your time, if you love to be by yourself, if you like to do things by yourself, and there's a part of you that's going, oh, if I invite somebody in, if I suddenly have somebody living with me, or somebody that wants to be with me and I start to connect and and have a deep partnership, I'm going to lose my space. I'm going to lose my freedom, my autonomy. I'm going to tell you right now that is just not true. It's not true. Guess why? Because you're not going to let that happen. <laughs> and that's why it's so important to be conscious of what you're concerned about losing if you call in next level love. So let's let's track this a little bit, okay? Again, I'm talking about freedom, but it could be your fear of somebody who's not financially stable. And maybe you're afraid that you're going to have to take care of them. Maybe you're afraid that somebody's going to get sick and you might have to take care of them. Maybe you have concerns that they're slobs and they're going to affect your, your home. Whatever it is, as long as you're aware of what your concerns are, as long as you're aware of what's at risk for you to actually invite somebody into your life, then you actually can make sure that doesn't happen. And you can negotiate within yourself and these people or a person how you want it to be without abandoning what's important to you. I had this client once that really wanted a partner. And one of the things she said was, I really don't want to live with anybody. I like my home. I don't want it to change. Uh, I really would love to have somebody to see maybe two or three times a week, maybe check in daily. That would be awesome. And she got it because she was so clear about what she wanted and she was clear about what she didn't want. She didn't want to get married. She didn't want to live with him. She wanted the space to be able to have her own time and her own home in her own way but still have connection. And guess what? He wanted the same thing, just a little different. He wanted his own space. He wanted to have his own time. So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't think that if you call in a partner that you actually have to give away what's important to you. We know that we have to compromise sometimes, right? We know that sometimes it's not going to be a perfect fit with somebody. But at the end of the day, if something's that important to you, you don't have to let it go. You just have to be really clear within yourself that this is this is a you know a, a boundary. And then you talk to the person and say, yeah, you know, I'm really not interested in living with somebody. Or you know what? I really need to have at least one day a week just to myself to have some quiet time. Or I like to travel by myself at least however often, fill in the blank, and let the person know it's nothing personal. I really love to go on these retreats by myself. And of course, then you see how they respond. And if they can support you and honor you and really allow you to say, 
what you need to say and to really put a stake in the ground for what's important to you, then you've got a great partner. If he can't honor what's important to you, then he's not your person. If he can't respect your choices and your bottom line, he's not your person. However, you need to start with what's important to you and get so uber clear so that you can actually share that with your potential person. So I I really want to encourage you to stay awake and aware of why you might go, you know what, I don't know if I really want love after all. I don't really know if I want a partner. You need to dig underneath and ask yourself why. Why might you be holding yourself back? Why might you keep the door shut, sealed, and 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 um, nailed shut? Because at the end of the day, there are reasons that you slow yourself down and keep yourself from opening up. And some of them are really, really valid. Some of those reasons we need to look at. We need to to really go, "Mm, there's some huge risk here. Maybe you have some extra healing to do. Maybe you're fresh out of a relationship. Maybe you're still heartbroken. Whatever it is, sometimes you really do need to keep that door shut. However, if you want somebody and you are ready to open up that door, but you're not, there's something blocking you. And we need to dig underneath and figure what that is, figure out what that is. And when you can figure it out, then you could relax more knowing that you're not going to allow it to happen because you are aware of what's important to you. And again, it gives you an opportunity to run it by your prospective person to see how they honor what you share is important to you. So in a nutshell, you don't have to sacrifice anything that's important to you. Please don't. We've done that enough as women in this culture, this patriarchal society, We give away our power on a regular basis still to this day. And it's a lot of unwiring, a lot of reprogramming. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. And it takes time. And so for your individual journey, I encourage you to not abandon anything that's important to you and to remember that what you want to create is for you and you can manifest next level love without sacrificing you. And it starts with you. Much love to you. Bye. You've been listening to Midlife Love Out Loud. Thanks for tuning in this week. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, please leave a rating and review and be sure to share it with your gal pals. Tune in every Wednesday to experience more exciting insights, tools, and wisdom on calling in next level love. And until we meet again, be gentle with your precious heart and know how deserving of love you are.